The digital divide is the gap between those who don't have access to computers or technology and those that do. Canada's economy is affected by the digital divide because every job requires computer skills. There are no jobs that don't have computer related skills anymore and if you don't have access to those skills, you don't have access to the job market. And the more unemployed youth and future adults there are, the higher unemployment is and this all has a huge effect on our economy. Why I think access to computers is so important for, for young people is technology is everywhere in our lives. It's at, um, it's at home, it's the way we communicate, um, you get an education now, you have to have access and be fluent with technology, and then certainly from my perspective to find work, even more so, right, because everything we do is touches on, uh, touches on a computer. Personally, I didn't actually have a computer growing up, um, up until third year university, so I had to personally walk 15-20 minutes in order to get to a computer lab, wait in line, um, and just the access wasn't there. Uh, my experience in high school, not having access to computers at home. Uh, I remember personally having to take um, a, a computer that looked like one of those iMacs, you know, the iMacs that we have now or that you see around in those stores, which it's not a, it's not a portable computer. It's not meant to be moving from the school to the home. But that's something that I had to do when I was in high school because I didn't have a computer in my home. So I would take the computer and my teacher was great. He allowed me to actually take that computer and pack it in a bag and take it from the school to my house. And I would take that home and I would use it to complete my assignments. I created Sky's the Limit to be of service and to address the digital divide in Canada. I grew up in a home with access to technology and I became aware that other students didn't have the same access. So I set about trying to find a way to create this opportunity and to lessen the digital divide in Canada. I support Sky's the Limit because technology helped our family immigrate from Jamaica and find roots in this country. And so we all benefited from having access to technology. And I'm here where I am today because of technology. And um, that's why I support Sky's the Limit. So Sky Salmon has identified two problems with our economy and it's just the structure of Canada right now and the fact that there's been a huge exponential growth within the development of technology and the fact that there's going more and more computers into the waste each year. And we also know there's kids and youth and students and families who do not have access to technology, especially computers. So we're trying to get these laptops and computers refurbished and back into the cycle and back into the hands of those who appreciate them and need them. What, what was it like before you received the computer? Dreadful, hard. Explain why. And frustrating. Because like, then you would like stay there after school to like do the work there, and then you would come home late, and you wouldn't like be able to finish your projects, so you would have to like go to school early to use the computers. And sometimes they don't even work, or they're not open, and the teachers are just like, oh, it's too early. So you're like, you would have to go to the library after school work for three, four hours. It was really hard, I guess, to do work because I had to constantly get up and go early to school or run to the library or I had to like schedule time in my own house to use a computer because we only have one computer and there's five of us and everybody kind of has work to do. So before having my own computer, it was really challenging to find space where I could be alone and work or work without time constraints. What's especially rewarding in uh, volunteering for Sky's Alignment is working at the recipient level. So when you are giving the laptop to the youth in need, when you see them, the look on their faces, the appreciation that they have when they're receiving the laptop, um, you can see that not only are they appreciative of, at the moment of receiving the laptop, but you can also see in their eyes what it could potentially do for them in the future. All right, so what do you do with your computer? I usually do my homework uh, with some privacy and it's really helpful to do my homework with a, like your personal computer. Our 10th anniversary means so much to me personally. I have such a deep sense of satisfaction from watching, witnessing the positive change in the lives of the recipients, their families, their friends their communities, communities across Canada and beyond. 
I am so proud of what we've accomplished and also so grateful to have been able to provide this opportunity. In the more recent future, we would like to have um, 10,000 youth with 10,000 laptops within the next 10 years. Um, and so far we've already done almost 4,000 in our first 10 years. How has Sky the Limit accomplished this? We could have done this without us our donors and uh, the team that we have and the volunteers, including the board member, and this can have start, started with uh, our founder, Lara, who has started the stream and has helped us think come this far. So we're really hoping that 10 for 10 will be our next goal. 10 years, 10,000 youth. So. I really hope we accomplish this goal by just getting up the awareness out in the community of who we are and what we do and that all you need to do is donate a laptop you're not using anymore, make a small monthly donation of just eighteen fifty a month, will actually buy a laptop for one student in a year. Uh, you can host a laptop drive in your community, at work, at school. Uh, you can follow our social media and cheer us on because that always helps as well. And just let other corporations know that we exist because they're always looking for ways to find a green project in order to get rid of their technology and not just have it go into landfills and actually get it back in the hands of people who do need them and could utilize them for years to come. I think one of the things about the digital divide is that it's, you know, it's expanded or it has the potential to expand some of the income gap and the wealth gap uh, in the country. You know, there are certain basic things in Canada that we all take, you know, that, that we believe everyone should have access to, healthcare, education, those sorts of things. Yeah, without, with the digital divide, it's becoming more and more difficult. So I think by getting computers and technology in the hands of young people and a broader group of young people, I think, you know, helping close them, I think that's important for the development of the country and, and um, the development of our youth. Looking forward to the next 10 years, I hope that Sky's Limit continues to flourish and inspire everyone it touches. Be the change you wish to see in the world.